I was going to crypto for a moment. You got uh, advisors overseeing what's left of former FTX CEO Sam Bankman Fried's empire are struggling to find missing funds. They cite poor internal controls and record keeping. I mean, this was not a good report. Bloomberg Schlein Bassick joins us now. How much of the funds can they not locate? And do we think that it was all in tokens that are now worth zero? Any hints on what it might be? I think if you look at the declaration by John J. Ray, remember this is the man who oversaw the liquidation of the Enron bankruptcy as well to try to recoup funds. He had very strong language. He said that there was a complete failure of corporate controls. And he also cited concentration of control in the hands of a small group of people. Tracy Alloway of Bloomberg also pointed out some really interesting details in the footnotes of this filing that showed you loans that went from Alameda had gone to certain individuals and certain amounts of this money was used to pay according to this filing and the declaration from John Ray to pay for personal assets of Sam Bankman Freed as well as his deputies. So it, it is Ooh. definitely worth a read this filing. But remember this is his account if you want Sam Bankman Freed's account currently you can go to Twitter. Uh, he has his own account of what had happened with yeah. assets and liabilities and what had happened to the tokens in between. Are those Twitter posts going to be a problem, do you think, Shanali? Because there's a lot of noise around this story. And in terms of the legal process, I'm wondering, and this is being raised as an issue, whether or not they actually could confuse matters further. Yeah, the lawyers for FTX have been accusing Sam Bankman Fried of undermining the bankruptcy process. Remember, there's been a lot of reporting over the weekend. The Wall Street Journal, for example, reporting that Sam Bankman Fried had also tried to raise equity at one point for or raise new money here for FTX. Remember, this is after the bankruptcy filing that was on Friday. Uh, that complicates things very much. <laughs> but remember, FTX has made it very clear they've been tweeting that Sam Bankman Fried is no longer part of the company. So there is a dispute here between the company and uh, Sam Bankman Fried himself. And as we've reported, Guy, lots of investigations going on both here in, and in the Bahamas from different regulatory mm -hmm. agencies. So how will those tweets be used is a, is a good question. So let me just go back to what you said before. So, so in this filing, it said that Alameda made loans, we, we think, to FTX executives. They named them by name in, wow. the, in okay. the filing mm -hmm. and, and the amounts. If Alameda wound up getting consumer money from FTX, this is like an FTX financing FTX executives in, in some kind of circular way. It's Am gonna, I reading that correctly? It's going to take a very long time. We, and we've tried to do at least some of this in Bloomberg reporting now. If you look, there's a story on the terminal that will show you the map of Sam Bankman Fried's empire. Because what's going to be difficult to untangle is not just FTX. FTX is a hundred and some companies here as across the entire globe, as well as Alameda, yep. which has its own counterparties, and it, it seems that Sam Bankman Fried and his colleagues were part of those counterparties. Wow. Shanali, the issue a lot of people are going to have is if this was happening at FTX, is it happening elsewhere? Is that basically now the market's mentality around all of this? There's something that I've been thinking about for the last 24 hours, and it's this guy. You're seeing a lot of companies pausing withdrawals of customer funds. There was, you know, 8%, 15% yields promised on those funds. What were those funds used for? Were they transferred over the trading desks? And is that why those withdrawals cannot be met now? These are serious questions about the crypto industry.